So I wanted to talk a little bit about writing for the web uh, in context of these landing pages and some best practices. So all of us probably wrote papers and, and we're used to writing on a paper, but writing for uh, you know, a paper is very different from writing for the web. Uh, in print, uh, we expect someone to read sequentially. We expect someone to read a news article sequentially. But reading for the web is completely random, and we're also disrupted a lot. So you don't have the complete focused attention of someone. They're also paying attention to their notifications and their email and the phone's ringing. So the copy that you write for the web has to be incredibly concise, incredibly clear, and incredibly easy to read. And we start by writing for a very low level of literacy. You're supposed to laugh then. All right. Uh, so if you, if you go and look up usability data, 43% of US adults have basic or below basic literacy. And some of that's ESL and, and, and some of it's historical. But almost the majority of your audience is not reading at maybe the same level you are. And recognizing that is a great first step. So for our home page and kind of our big overview page, the goal is to write at the sixth grade level. USA Today is the fourth grade level, for the record. And other pages we maybe write at the eighth grade level. And how we figure out kind of what, just to get a baseline of what grade level we're writing for, this isn't perfect, is you can go into Microsoft Word and you can actually check the, uh, the reading level. And so um, this article that we wrote recently, this was uh, at a 9.9 .9 grade level. So actually, I would ask the writer to revise it to make it an easier to read paper. So, you know, I don't want to treat my customers like idiots. They're great customers. They're really smart people. But the truth of the matter is that simplifying writing helps everyone. This is an example of a, uh, a before and after rewrite that the Norman Nielsen group did of a major pharmaceutical product. And whether they had high literacy or lower literacy, the rewrite was uh, successful, meaning it was easier for them to get through the text. It took less time to get through the text. And they were more satisfied with the text. And if there's anything you could want out of a website, isn't it something that's easier to read, faster to read, and, and, uh, and you're more satisfied with? And you're able to do that by writing uh, in more simple ways. Uh, so this is an example of a rewrite that the Norman Nielsen Group did where uh, they started with the solution there, uh, solutions by industry, run your business on a dynamic virtual infrastructure. I don't know what that means. And they rewrote it provide access to more resources and people with a virtual computer network and bullet pointed. And there's a lot of science and theory for how to do right for web. We don't have uh, time to do a whole section on it, but I wanted to give you just a taste of one thing you can do to change your writing to make it more accessible, more easy to read online.